I don't know if this is working. I, I, I do a little audio engineering. I'm a musician as well. But it's just a Sennheiser. It's a hundred dollars Sennheiser. Nice. And it actually works. There's compressors in GarageBand. We'll talk about that later in editing. Um, you don't need much. But there's also, which we didn't bring on stage, it's okay, a USB mic between 50 and 150 bucks. And let's say you don't really have guests that often, maybe. It'll go straight into your USB port on your uh, laptop, and you don't even need an interface. You can just go right in and so go. So if you're a single host, just know that what Tyler just said, you can get a simple $99 USB mic, go straight into your computer or laptop, and that's all you need. You've got a podcast. Who wants We're to hear a super secret hack in, 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 in case you need to have guests, but they are in Taiwan or wherever? Would you like to hear that? How would you like them to sound like they're in the exact same room with you when you publish your podcast? Would that be cool? All right, this is how we do it. <laughs> you take your earbuds on your iPhone, pop them in your ears, FaceTime them so you can see each other and give each other signals when you need to. Put your cans over your ears, just like you guys have now, well, some of you, and press record. Then when you're, and then use three, two, sorry, don't press record yet. Three, two, one, record. Three, two, one, start the bumper music, or whatever it is your intro is. Then hit stop, you're done with your uh, podcast. Your partner's probably on GarageBand, or you can even do free stuff like uh, Reaper or whatever, as long as it gets in there. Don't make this too complicated. Uh, he will Dropbox you or Google Drive you his file or hers, and then send it over, you put it right under your track in GarageBand. I happen to just use GarageBand. At our music school, we have the best Logic and Pro Tools systems inside the music schools, and I don't touch them at all for this. Absolutely not, I'm on my MacBook Air, making it simple. But then at that point, both voices sound like they're in the room. Okay, so there's your hack. Earbuds, so that's, when you hear a lot of special guests on podcasts, what Tyler just said is how we do it. It's basically a phone call or a video conferencing but we're recording into our own devices and then we're just editing it together. So it's pretty simple. Now, if you do have uh, people in the studio with you, I think this is 200 bucks. Yeah, I can't remember. Much, much uh, but it's USB and uh, it's, it's not gonna do anything special like divide the tracks into the different tracks, into the, uh, into the software, but it allows you to have really good sound for four people live in the studio. And it was like 200 bucks. It's really easy. This is a Yamaha MG-10XU, all right? There's a million kinds of these. So we actually use for now. Yeah, if you listen to our podcast, uh, there'll be three of us on a podcast sometimes. Sometimes we're in the same room using this Yamaha. And then other times we're all different places, but it still sounds the same. Right. And so that brings you into whether or not you want to edit or not. That's your choice. We'll talk about that in a minute. So. We're also going to come back to, you saw Spreaker and Libsyn. Did you guys see that on the bottom of the list? Spreaker.com, Libsyn, Podcast One. We're going to come back to those distributors when we get to the editing screen, okay? 